in this video we are discussing top 10 pattern example so this video will be assisted with some one practical demonstration for the easy understanding of this concept so top 10 pattern example and from the users.xml so here you are using the xml file that is the users.xml this task will find top 10 users based on the view count so depending upon the view count we'll be calculating or finding out those users who are the top 10 so let us go for one demonstration for the easy understanding of this concept we are implementing filtering pattern design pattern under this category top 10 users from users.xml file so user.xml is a huge file it is having a size of 56.18 mb residing under this slash input slash user folder and we are going to show you the some first two records first two rows of these users uh, .xml under the users tag each and every row has got multiple attributes and fields we are having the attribute like your uh, id here so here we are having so many rows will be there containing id reputation creation date display name uh, last access date going for location website url location about me then we shall go for views we shall go for views and then up votes down votes account id so these are the multiple attributes are there under each and every row thousands of rows are there so let us concentrate on the java programs what are the java files we have written here so here we are supposed to find out top 10 users having got the maximum views so we are going to have our java class that is a top 10 mr task here we are extending the inner class is our uh, top 10 mapper extending the mapper under this we are creating one t tree map object that is a shorted map we are creating tree map object we are overriding the map method we are overriding the map method within the map method we are having the hash map object that is our xml parsed so xml parse is my hash map object which will be instantiated using xml to map xml to map we are having one method here so let me show you this particular xml to map will take one xml file as input and returns the hash map object as output so that will be assigned onto this object that is our xml parsed we're having a string type id and string value which will be taking the respective uh, the uh, attribute content from the xml id and views so string id and string view so two member two member values were defined under this uh, method so we are having this if id is equal to is equal to null and view is equal to, is equal to null then return so rest part of the code will become unreachable unexecuted otherwise short at map dot put long parse long dot parse long so converting this string to long and new text value so value will be converted to this text and add item into the list so in this particular list the item will be added here so we are going to check that whether this uh, short at map dot size if it is greater than 0 uh, greater than 10 rather if the short at map dot size is greater than 10 then short at map dot remove short at map dot first key so remove element where view is lowest so, so we are supposed to find out the list of those users having got the maximum views so top 10 views top 10 uh, views will be there so those users will be required we have kept this one in the try catch block for the exception handling now we shall discuss the method which we overwriting that is a cleanup so in the cleanup method for text 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 into our shorted map dot values we are going to write the context dot write null writable dot get as a key and text as a value so it will be writing the key and the respective value there so we'll be going for the next reducer class that is a top 10 reducer is the name of the class here also we have defined one tree map objects that is a top 10 list we have defined one tree map object that is a top 10 list we're overriding the reduce method overriding the reduce method under this xml parts is this there xml parts for each and every value in the values we're going for the xml parts object that is a hash map object to be instantiated then xml parts dot get view so from the view tag we are taking this so there is a string view is equal to xml parts dot get views and top 10 list dot put long dot parts long view and new text value so here q, q will be of the type of 
long and value will be of the type of text. So, if top 10 list dot size is greater than 10, then top 10 dot remove top 10 list dot remove top top 10 list dot first key. So, you are trying going to keep only the topmost 10 most uh, having the most views. So, that the text text text. So, that is a top 10 list uh, descending map dot values. So, ctx dot write that is a context dot write null writable dot get. So, that is a key and text is a value we are going to write them and putting them in the try catch block. So, let me explain the main function here. Here the argument the number of common land argument should be passed as 2. The first one is my top 10 MR tux that is a class name then input folder name then output folder name. If the number of arguments is not equal to 2 then we shall be going for exit. Instantiating the job class object job. So, job is equal to get instance and this we are also going for the mapper class and the reducer class to be assigned. We are checking that the number of reduce stack should be 1 and the output key and output value these two will be initialized at the type of null writable class and text class we will be writing them. Then file input format dot add input path that will be obtained from arg 0 and set output path that will be obtained from arg 1 code is a value which will be deciding the successful completion of the code and that code will be returned. So, already we have generated the jar file against this particular project. So, we are not going to create the jar file otherwise you know we shall go for right button click and then export and then jar files. So, that step we are omitting. So, let me go for executing our program and let me see that how the outputs are coming. We are supposed to find out those 10 users having got the maximum number of views. So, let me go for clear. Then we are issuing the command that is our we should type the command as uh, Hadoop jar and then respective path has to be given map reduce underscore design pattern jar files is a path and is a jar file name that is a filtering pattern dot jar top 10 is a package name top 10 MR tasks is a uh, MR task is the respective class name then you shall give the input path so slash input slash user and output path that is our say slash output executing the command not finding the it has failed actually I think the name node now in the slip mode so let me take it out from the slip mode so Hadoop DFS admin minus safe mode leave we shall execute the command once again Yes, now it has got the successful output. Let me go to the output folder. Under this output folder, the part file has got created. So, let me see the content of the part file. So, we shall go for the console once again. So, sdfs dfs minus cat and then slash output slash part star. So, here the list of those users having got top 10 views. So, those user details have been retrieved from the XML file and they have got uh, dumped onto this part file as output. So, these are the top 10 users having got the most visits are there, views are there. So, they have got listed. So, it is a good practice optional. It is a good practice to delete the output folder. I hope that you have got the idea that how we have executed the code, we have explained the code, we have explained step by step how it can be done. So, let me go for the deletion of the output folder slash output. Thanks for watching this video.